We're going to be talking about the most unluckiest man on earth today. And before we do that, I want to mention that I don't get real life streamers. I, you can just stream from the comfort of your own home. Sure, you're going to make a little less of a buck. But at least you're not going to be on the street shouting, aim, aim, and get the fuck back. Like, so far, every single live streamer that I've seen gets into some shit. Like, Dr. Disrespect goes in a bathroom and finds a kid with a Mario hat taking a tinkle and gets his Twitch account shut down. Right? Like, th th this is what I'm talking about. It's going to happen. Now, it's very entertaining and funny to watch these people, you know, put their life in danger for entertainment. I mean, the, the television used to do this back in the day, but at least they would use actors. No, these people are legit. They go out in the world, bad shit happens to them, and then they're the ones suffering while people enjoy and throw the super chats. So in this case, this guy, which I've never heard about until now, had the misfortune of getting carjacked. Right? Like GTA type of shit. I, I, I'm lucky I, don't, I live in a country where this type of thing don't happen, but yeah and behold, for him it happened. Now, apparently he was on Twitch when he was shot, right? Like, we're talking about, like, getting shot and then Twitch cancels his account. Unreal. I fucking real. Like, I, I would get it. I would get it if, uh, you know, they, they would decide to uh, take down that video because, you know, it's gruesome, it violates community guidelines or something like that. But you need to understand that for some people, this is their job. Like, I, I, I don't agree with the, uh, you know, the, the YouTube union type of thing. I, I don't think anything good is going to come out of it. But honest to God, if, if I don't want these companies who are talking the talk about being leftists and being so progressive to actually get the regulation that the left has had for every other business on the planet. Like, if, if you are to hire people in a factory, and then fire a guy because he was shot and carjacked, you would get a lawsuit. And the guy would probably win. My private company, well, my leftism. You know, like, they, they already made rules and laws on, on how you're supposed to treat an employer. And you might say, well, you know, these are the employers of these companies. Bullshit. Bullshit. Right? Like, they, there are plenty of arguments to, to be made. And I'm not going to go into this video right now. You know, just because you don't have a, a contract, a working contract, doesn't mean that if you work on a regular for a company doing business for them and giving them cash, uh, in European Union at least, you would not be considered an employer. But anyway, right, this, this is like, besides the point, the ethical of it all, the, the ethics, right? It's like, come on our platform, we'll give you cash. You, know, you, you, you provide us the entertainment, we'll give you cash. It's not even their cash to give. It's usually like they're the middleman. It's the, the subscriber that, that pumps in the money, right? Um, so what, what, what ends up happening is that people go on these platforms. They, they start uh, putting in extra hours. They buy expensive camera equipment. They uh, invest a lot of time in order to build up an audience. And, you know, you, you can't go to work and do this for 12 hours a day. Like... For a streamer, it's a lot worse than what I'm doing, you know, like I, I'm preparing for my videos and stuff But streamers usually stream eight nine ten hours a day so, you know, you, you get that investment and One day just like that. It's gone You know, like there is absolutely no job security no job safety nothing nothing and um, Need to be a conversation for people who think that uh, Going on Twitch is uh, is definitely going to be something uh, worthy of career. They they banned a woman for dressing like Chan Li. Recent, you know, you can't make this up. They they have girls that paint their tits, and for some reason that's okay. That's artistic, but a girl dressing like Chan Li, no 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 no. It's like there there, there is literally no, uh, you know, the, no rules that apply across the board. It's madness. It's madness. So apparently, listen to this, right? Uh. <clears throat> Hello, Bisomni Head TV. Uh, based on a review on your activity or content, we have issued community guideline strike on your account. As a result, your access to Twitch is restricted. Due to on-stream emergency, your content was taken down to protect your privacy. Trying to get around this restriction can result in a longer suspension and may lead us to reject any suspension appeals you might submit. So, in order to protect you, 
we decided to terminate your place of work. H how does that make sense? What if the guy doesn't want his privacy protected? So yeah, fans started going like, what the actual fuck? Try showing tits next time. I hear you just come back a day later. Um, another person says, well, it does suck that you got banned. Twitch did make their logical decision. They don't want a VOD going around on their side showing some maniac firing. God, I, I, I get that. You know, I get that. But take the video off. Why, why are you giving a strike to the guy's account? That makes no sense. Surely they could have accomplished this without the strike, do I? While it sucks that you got banned, Twitch didn't make the logical decision. They don't want the VOD going around on their side uh, showing a maniac uh, firing a gun. Yeah, uh, no, th this is... It's bewildering to me, you know, like I genuinely can't understand this shit anymore. Like, how, how do these people even think? Do they think, you know, like this is another question. Do they think? Oh my god, like... Imagine being that guy. Imagine being the guy getting shot and then you're also fired. Yeah, anyway, uh, meanwhile, you know, the, the whole Twitch business model, like, I really hate this company, by the way. I, I hate Twitch with a passion. Not to mention it's one of the only platforms that ban you for off-the-side behavior. Like, if you say something on Twitter that they don't like, they will ban you, right? Like, this this is how authoritarian they are. The, the thing that I hate the most is the hypocrisy, right? Because they have, and they're very aware that they have a lot of ladies that show tits there's nothing wrong with this you know I, I believe in capitalism if you if you have a product that you can monetize by all means go do it you know but the hip the hypocrisy is that twitch advertises as family friendly right so that mommy can let little billy watch susan anthony's tits uh and the the moment the the little billy buys bits from his mom's credit card to pay for that lady well, let's say there would be a big controversy if this was found out that a lot of underage kids use bits to pay for Twitch streamers. And I happen to know a couple. You know, I know a few. Like, what, what can I do? You know, but if someone were to actually make an investigation and find out that this is a big problem, you know, because Twitch could just come out and say, you know what? Yeah, we, we do have mature content on the site. You, you want to watch some, some girls? You know, uh, show some boobies while they play video games. That's fine. You know, like, no one would complain. No, no, no. They, they're going to have, like, some terms of service that tells you you need to dress decently. Like, going to uh, see your mom for dinner. Man, like, I don't think any girl goes to, to the family gathering while painting her tits. You know, I, I generally don't think that. But, you know, like, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know what type of families they got. Because clearly they get away with it. So Twitch encourages this type of behavior while wanting to advertise themselves as family friendly and anyone who calls it out gets banned. Look at the quartering. The quartering went there and read the terms of service regarding a girl that painted her tits. Do you know what happened? He got banned for reading Twitch's terms of service. Absolutely fucking insane. Another guy uh started a video with a girl dancing right and people didn't know it's a guy they thought it's actually the girl and when it was found out that it's a guy twitch banned him but while he was showing the girl and people were throwing money at him that was fine it was profitable you know i, I don't blame twitch i really don't because you look at some of the super chats some of these ladies are getting twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars super chat you know that's good money a fat quartering doesn't give that money he gets a quarter you know like so, so it's it's kind of understandable why they they prefer to to have this type of business. But what but what I hate is the hypocrisy, the fact that they don't just admit, you know, that uh, they they're um, not family friendly. Like just just look at the main page of Twitch. You're going to see, you know, maybe Doctor Disrespect, Ninja, a couple of other guys, rest are girls that that have like a little a little tiny corner where you get to see the video and everything else you get to see. You know that. Like, it, it, it got to the point where a girl who was streaming on Chatterbait, I, I don't think I need to explain, you get it from the name, what, what we're talking about. Eh? A girl that was streaming on Chatterbait uh, pointed out how she can be more naked on Twitch than on Chatterbait. Like, what, what more do you want? You know, like, be, because there were all these girls, because another part of the hypocrisy is when the journalists from Kotaku and Polygon, it's like, Oh, you're just hating women for picking on their boobies. And I, th there was this chick. 
who apparently had a lot of people throwing money at her. And it turns out that she was married. Like, she had a husband. And when the chat found out, a lot of people were upset. A lot of her community started leaving. And then immediately, Kotaku makes an article about it, about, you know, the misogyny and how people are mean to her so that they can advertise her and she can get some subscribers back while completely avoiding the controversy and the real reason that people left. You know, like, th th this is, like, <clears throat> yeah, a grotesque level of hypocrisy. No, no one has a problem. Like, why, why aren't people picking on chatterbait? You know, because chatterbait is honest. You pay money, you see a girl masturbate. You know, like, what, 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 what is the problem with that? I have no problem. I'm not a Puritan. I'm not a sex-negative feminist. I don't care. But what I do care is when you're, you're telling, uh, oh, yeah, these are the rules, and then you ban people who don't break the rules, or you allow people to stay who are obviously breaking the rules. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Went on a rant on Twitch. You know, I, I always wanted to make a couple of video series about Twitch, but um, unfortunately, there was also uh, something else that came up. I, I should do a lot of research based on it and start making some videos, because honestly, it's, it's really annoying. You know, it's, it's really annoying. It needs to get called out.